Going over the close grip bench press. Really good tricep accessory. Teaches how, if uh, because the elbows are closer, it's a little easier to feel the lat tightness that you should have in a bench press. So great teaching tool. Uh, and another, it's another good purpose. If you're a long arm lifter, like myself, probably your number one accessory is gonna be some variation of a close grip bench press. So, without further ado, you do not need to go here. If you know what an EMG rating is, there is no greater tricep involvement in this grip than this grip. So wherever your shoulders naturally are, that is where I would do a close grip, or slightly closer. You don't need to do this, it's just harder on the wrist, it's no more tricep involvement. So, with the close grip bench, you still want to load the lats on the way down, keep the elbows pulled in, like you're pulling the bar apart. Like if you have the bar, you're trying to physically pull it this way, that will engage the lats, the triceps, the teres, and a lot more of the back muscles. So pull, and explode on the way up. Pull it apart, keep, um, keep the elbows in next to the lats, and explode up. That's the basics of a close grip bench press. Use your back, make sure your hips, your legs are all tight, pushing up for speed. What you don't wanna do, once you fatigue, if the lats are weak or if the shoulders are weak, you will see this to start to happen. You'll push, and you start to struggle, and this will happen. Try to control that. Try to control that really hard. We'll go up, we'll do an entire separate video series on the proper accessories to fix that. But for right now, if you start to do this and you're not even halfway through your set, drop the weight. Control this tendency first, and you'll always have linear force into the bar and less internal rotation on the shoulder. Again, internal rotation, really not so bueno on the shoulder.